Tell us about this vehicle we'll be riding. Yeah, this is a 1974 Pinsgauer. It's a Swiss Army troop transport. Why do you use a Swiss Army troop transport? Is there it's a reason for that? It's six-wheel drive. It'll go anywhere. Uh-huh. And, of course, the Swiss Army never gets into a fight, so what do they need their military vehicles for? <laughs> Good question. Let's jump in this, baby, okay. and see what happens. Let's jump in. after they bloom. And how do they turn into grapes? They're self-pollinating, so they will They're self-pollinating? They are. Sounds like me in college. <laughs> <laughs> the acoustics in here are fantastic. Yes. <laughs> As you know, uh, I work with a guy named Jordan Slansky, who is a terrible slob. Just a pig. His office is a mess. I've tried many times to clean it up, and it's dirty again immediately. I'm sick of it. I give up. That's why I brought in the big guns, the Property Brothers. Well, we're glad to be here. I mean, this really shows as his employer how much you, you care about him. Oh, no. I, uh, I'm happy if he dies tomorrow. Do you defecate at work? <laughs> Jordan, all people... Uh, Eventually, first of all, I'm a celebrity, and as they will tell you, we d just don't defecate at all. No, no, no. But you, as a person, everyone does. How many times a week would you say you defecate at work? Well, I think you're talking about a very... This is a disgusting topic. Well, I didn't initiate the topic. You're the one that introduced the topic by having not one, but two bamboo squatty potty. So if any hat's gonna get you laid, it's the I Heart History. Picture it shows Lincoln on acid. This is Lincoln just after he went to a concert, a really rad concert, and then looked into the mirror. This is what he saw. Lincoln's last night. I think it's a porno. I've actually seen a little bit of this. It's pretty incredible. It's very dirty. <laughs> Same last night. Well, we finally found it. The least convincing fake beard ever made. Look at that. It's also, this was used, was used by John Travolta. When was out in public. <laughs> How come Daniel Day-Lewis just gets to walk in? I know Steven Spielberg. And when I say know him, I know where he lives and I can get over that wall. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to look into camera and, and make your plea to Steven Spielberg? Mr. Spielberg, check out my website. Lance presents a Oh my uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> my website? <laughs> Four score and seven years ago, my website went down <laughs> for 26 hours. All right. So I'm here, I'm at the You're urinal. Here. Okay, All everything's right. fine, right? Zip, ka-thunk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying there? Zip, ka-thunk. Kind of what happens when Conan unleashes the beast. <laughs> All I'm saying is I stand here, zip, ka-thunk, see a guy standing at the urinal and you're like, I can't help it. Well, it's... Whoa, but how, you know, why are you... Is this a problem in other bathrooms? No. One...
I've heard that my fans in Europe can be a little overzealous. So uh, while I'm here, NBC has assigned me a bodyguard. This is Byrne. And uh, he's going to pretty much make sure that, you know, everyone keeps their distance. The thing to do if you're in Cologne is ride on the cable car. In fact, that's why most teenagers here shoot themselves <laughs> around the age of 17. The city of Cologne is a medieval city. It's been around for a long time. The uh, initial name for the city wasn't Cologne. It was Aftershaven. <laughs> but they um, changed it. They didn't think it had a nice ring. This woman's hair has been fashioned into a weapon. Is this something that you approve of? It's a very progressive, and it's not for everybody. You know, that's um, an I don't think it's look. even for her, frankly. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but in this photo, her hair is cutting into her carotid artery. She, she's probably got an hour to live. I'm just curious about your hair. Um, it's really, and I mean this in a, as a compliment, but it looks like a California brush fire is working its way across your head. Do you have people occasionally tackling you and putting their coat over your head and saying, roll, roll? Unfortunately, no. No, no, you want that. You want that to happen. We're now in the bowels of the Wella hairstyling school. Is that right? Yes. This... Do you like the term bowels? No, not really. No. Yeah, there you okay. go. Does the U.S. government know that you have this thing? Of course they do. Why do they know it? They have to. It has to come over through customs and all. Where did it come from? Germany. You just let the Germans set this up here? <laughs> That's insane. The Germans are like, would you take this mind control, I mean hair coloring device, please? <laughs> That's a lot of trust. Are you getting it all wet in the arm? Yes, yes. A little more back. Look how fluid I am. And then look what I'm going to do over each eyebrow. I'm going to create a little curve. Do you mind if I sit here? Does this bother you? Uh, Is this out loud? Can I sit on him like this? If I become aroused at any point, it's, it's just, it has nothing to do with you, all right. right? It's because I'm cutting hair and it's something yes. I'm passionate about. All right, I got you. I just wanted a little wedge right up here, you know? Because I have this idea that he could put a postage stamp there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? I was seeing in my mind what I wanted. And this is not it. And this whole zone right here mm -hmm. is safety. And what I'm trying to get you to do as a hairstylist yeah. is move away from your safe zone. Mm -hmm. Come with me this, this to Danger Town. <laughs> Okay, all right. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> oh, didn't number there, didn't you? You're going to have to clean that up. Uh-oh. You understand uh -oh. that? All right. Uh -oh. What do you have to do? On a count of three. One, two, three. Whoa! How you doing? 
I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Thank you. Doing all right? Yeah, yeah just a little blood. Yes, all right. Bit. No, that's amazing. And I didn't get killed because of the distribution of the nails. That's right. And that huge inertia, that cinder block, saved your life, too. Okay, cool. Uh, well, let her rip. All right, hold on. Hang on tight. Okay, here we go. We gotta try one more time, we gotta secure this a little better. That's right. Because this thing, when I fire it, the canister goes into my crotch at 40 miles an hour. Yeah. And I like this job, but I don't like it that much. All right, I'm gonna just hold this right. more securely against my testicles, all right? Get a good grip here. Here we go, all right, set. Do it. I think we all learned something here. That's what I was going to ask. I was going to say, have you ever worn high heels? I have never worn uh, high heels. I don't even think in a comedy sketch I've ever had to wear high heels. Is it difficult? It's terribly difficult. Try it. Go okay, on, I'm try, try it. Right now. I Why can't not? tell you. Oh, well, you know, I was presenting at the Golden Globes, which is... Um, I, my foot doesn't brutal. really even fit in this thing. Well, just, just try. Wait a minute. Wait, and I'll give you okay. the other one. All right. Why not? Otherwise, you'll overbalance and break something. Okay. Why not? Here. Sure. Okay. Now. Oh, why? Your foot is so sweet and pretty. Now, let's do the other one. Put it down, put it down. You're not quite sure. You don't want to, to offend take a man's that, masculinity when he's trying on high oh. heels. I love it. It's good. You like it? I really like it. You do? Yeah. Yeah, that was fantastic. You see? That was fantastic. I think it's important to come on a chat show and give somebody an oh, experience yeah. they've never had yeah. before. I'm gonna wear a br I'm gonna wear a bra tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Tune into that show. That's gonna be good.